How's it going everyone? Welcome to part six of Boxing Bum to White Collar Brawler. Right, just to uh, get up to date, so uh, I had a fight on the 16th of November and what I've been doing is a series of videos for anyone who is uh, looking to partake in a white collar fight or uh, you're just interested in training techniques and other bits and pieces. This one in particular is on emotional self control. I would say boxing wise this is the number one most important thing you have to learn if you're going into a fight. Actually forget fight for anything okay because you need that balance, you need that composure. If you haven't got balance and composure in your life you're all over the place and you're emotionally reactive. So what is it about boxing in particular or any combat sport or any discipline really that teaches you emotional self-control? Well, I can only talk from a, from a boxing perspective but when I first started, um, there was a, a reactivity, okay? Someone would punch me in the face, which is pretty normal, right, when you're sparring, and then I would lash out, right? You'd lose your breath, um, you'd lose all your energy, and you'd wipe yourself out. I wiped myself out very, very quickly. So I learned very quickly that this wasn't a good idea. I had to start controlling my breath. I had to learn to take the hits, and this is what you do in boxing. You learn to move forward and take the hits. If, if you think about that as a metaphor for life, that's it. You're unmoving, but you're balanced and you're, um, you're calm and you're composed. And what did Bruce Lee say? He said, be like water, you know? Water is, is fluid, you can pass through it. It's, it's, um, it's beyond flexible, it's clear, it's clean, you know? Um, it can mould and shape itself into anything it wants, all right? So it's adaptable as well. And that's the beautiful thing about learning this, is that once you start to compose and have that breath, then you can have your technique and you can focus on what you're doing and not what your opponent's doing, not what the world's doing. You can focus on what you're doing. It's really important and it's vital because rather than losing your core and suffering the consequences of that, you can just take a chill pill, back off and when the time is right, when you're non-reactive and when you can just assess in that split second, bam, you strike, all right? Whether that's in the ring or in life, it's all about timing. The other thing about emotional reactivity, and I can say this for myself, it's a very childlike, childish response. If you think about the way a child responds and reacts, it's very spontaneous, it's very in the moment. And we think just because we're adults, that that doesn't happen to us. But I can assure you, and I'm sure you know people yourself, and I've done it myself as well, that childlike response comes out very, very quickly, right, in a second. And so if you can start to hone that by discipline or even meditation, which is really effective, where you learn to just observe thoughts passing one by one by one, and you just sit in that stillness, you start to have a calmness and a peace, and you start to sculpt, um, yourself through awareness itself um, to be aware of that present moment and that calms you down enough it gives you enough time to just consider the appropriate response if you take this outside boxing it's fronting up to life all right it's learning to take the hits take it on the chin and stand there and just be aware and just have that composure to have the appropriate response as i've said to then wait and strike when the time's right. Now for me this was really important because I can tell you there were certain things that happened in my life um, that affected me and it built up uh, quite a tremendous anger and an emotional reactivity which wasn't healthy. And I have to say, uh, boxing has completely wiped that out. It's really strange and now I'm thinking about it, it's so odd to even say that. Um, but that's what you learn and that's what a discipline is. This is something that um, week on week on week you begin to hone and you begin to relax into your body and you begin to take the appropriate action and you begin to release that anger. So if you have any kind of anger issues or that emotional reactivity, take up a discipline. Please take up boxing, yeah? Um, and I would say a mixture of boxing and as I said, meditation. Because one, you have you know, uh, an opportunity to sit in stillness, but I do believe the movement of the body and using that aggression to get that out is the most effective way to hone yourself into being uh, emotionally balanced. 
Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I would say, as I said, it's the most important thing. You've really got to take notice of this one. Really work on this. And uh, I shall be back with video seven next time. You take care.